Dr. Percy Julian was born in April 11, 1899 in Montgomery, Alabama. He was a pioneer in the chemical synthesis of medicinal drugs such as cortisone, steroids and birth control pills. Julian's work included a foam for fire extinguishers that saved lives during World War II, helping a Jewish scientist leave the Axis-controlled Austria, medical treatments for hundreds of disease through steroid-based medicines and discoveries that led to birth control. His research at academic and corporate institutions led to the chemical synthesis of drugs to treat glaucoma and arthritis, and although his race presented challenges at every turn, he is regarded as one of the most influential chemists in American history. He was awarded a Springarn Medal, an award recognizing huge achievements of African Americans in the United States. I don't think you can possibly embrace the kind of joy which one has worked with plants and plant structures such as I have over a period of nearly 40 years, how wonderful the plant laboratory seems. Percy Julian in 1953, Julian established Julian Laboratories to produce synthetic steroids, which pharmaceutical companies used to make drugs. He proved to be as talented an entrepreneur as he was a chemist. Julian's company flourished, making him a millionaire when he sold it in 1961. By the 1970s, Julian had more than 100 patents to his name and was widely recognized as an innovator who had helped make a range of medicines more affordable. Dr. Julian pushed the chemical industry forwards in huge strides but he also committed himself to supporting and advancing the civil rights movement in the USA and founded part of the Legal Defense and Education Fund, in Chicago. He also was a prominent civic and civil rights leader, raising funds and speaking publicly for racial justice and full equality for all Americans. Perhaps his greatest contribution was breaking the color barrier in American industrial science. Julian's labs were the training grounds for dozens of promising young African American chemists. He was awarded and highly respected for all aspects of his career. His chemistry has been described as elegant, which is about the highest praise an organic chemist can pass on to another. For his contributions to humanity, Julian received 18 honorary degrees and more than a dozen civic and scientific awards. He was the second African American elected to the National Academy of Sciences and the first chemist. Percy Julian died of liver cancer in 1975, at the age of 76. Throughout the world, millions of people continue to benefit from his groundbreaking discoveries. Today progesterone is used to decrease the risk for uterine cancer and in hormone replacement therapy. Julian also found a way to create synthetic cortisone, making this once prohibitively expensive, wonder drug, affordable to millions of arthritis sufferers.